It is important for any government to support research and development because research and development is a pillar of development or sustainable development of any country. Without research and development, there will be no develop, really development. Whenever you support research and development to any project, you need to have evaluation and monitoring program. Based on those programs, evaluation and monitoring program, then you can see that you have achieved objective. There is a quick evaluation. You need to see the impact to the local community of the, of the research and development. We need to see how they're going to change the life of local people of that community. First, there's no need to talk about corporate partnership. I think let's talk about Triple Helix, our Triple Helix. Triple Helix is a partner of three pillars. Government, you have university, and you have private sectors. If you work with these three pillars, then you can achieve your objective. So always we need to encourage universities together, government and the private sector to come together in order to, to, to do research. Otherwise, you can't live just for the government. The government has got a number of commitment. Also, you can live for private sector itself alone. Also, you can leave the university alone because university they are creator of the knowledge, but we need to work together in order to produce a quick, quick best result within a short time. We need to start with our school. We need to have a good program of mathematics, physics, science. If we put that together, I'm sure we should have a good environment for development of research activities to our countries. As far as I understand, beyond aid is means that we as a local, we as a government, especially African government, we need to start to invest, to invest in our research activity. Then the donors and the other countries from overseas, they can come on the board but as a partnership, and partnership here, they need to come or to do our priority. They need to be interested more than our priority because before they came here with the money, but they came their own agenda, which is that is totally unacceptable. So we need to put our priorities. Then we're going to call them, come down here. We've got ABC, let's work together for the interest of our people. Tanzania, we've got a very interesting partnership between Tanzania, CEDA, and the Netherlands Scientific Research Science Council. This is a program for postgraduate students. Tanzania, we put some money. CEDA, they're going to put some money. And the Netherlands Scientific Research Science Council will put some money. We as a Tanzania, we're going to come up with our research agendas. And these people will come together and will find our postgraduate student, no postdoc student in Tanzania, and then they're going to research based on the Tanzania priorities, not feeling I mean student priorities or somewhere priorities. That is very interesting partnership, and that is beyond it. That is my understanding, you know. I think from here we need to. Uh, to come up with the proper actions and then in the action we need to have a time frame. From there we need to follow each point from our time frame that A, B, C we should make sure that we achieve according to our time frame. Otherwise we will continue to talk to talk and the minister says 30 years we've been in this business of talking but nothing has been done. But our commitment, we need our, we as a African government, we need to start somewhere. You need to start somewhere. Somebody you need to start. Otherwise, it will never happen. Ever.
our National Medical Research Institute did some research concerning the mosquito and mosquito net everything. And then if a Kara Research Institute repeat the research and based on those research results, then we used to develop the mosquito net which they call which is very common in every part of the world. Based on the mosquito net, there are two advantages of those mosquito net. The first one definitely from medical point of view, the decline of malaria has gone has fallen down dramatically. Secondly, uh, job employment because today the, the mosquito net factory in Arusha is employing more than 7,000 people. The malaria has gone down dramatically in Tanzania based, based on those mosquito net. At the same time, the economic point of view has gone up. A lot of people they come from the poverty line by, the, by employment on that uh, AZ factory in Arusha.